Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Once and Future King here once again with another video. And this today I'm going to be reacting to the Quintessential Quintuplets movie official teaser trailer 2022. So this is a movie that's going to be released in Japanese theaters nationwide summer of 2022. Uh, so who knows when it will be, probably won't be released in um, like English, probably won't be translated officially until like sometime in 2023. It usually takes roughly six months, give or take, after it's been in Japanese theaters for it to be released in English, um, I believe. But even before watching this trailer, I already knew I was going to watch this because I love the quintessential quintuplets. A lot. A lot, a lot. So. One of my favorite romance anime in recent memory. All right. And I've heard, I haven't read the manga yet. I've heard that it does, how it ends, what girl wins. Not a big fan of it, but I am kind of skeptical because I've heard that the movie's going to have a different ending. And the reason why I always get skeptical when that happens is because this is kind of, it seems to me like kind of the culture in Japan where what the fans want to happen with an anime or manga is typically what happens. Like, even if the author doesn't want to listen, the editor will make the author listen. Like, when you publish a manga, you basically don't own your work anymore. Your editor is, is the one who owns it. And if your editor wants something to happen, that's what's going to happen. Period. And so I, I really hope that this change in ending is something that the author actually wanted to do. And it just so happens to coincide with what the fans want, rather than the author and editor succumbing to fan demand. To me, Miku's best girl, but I'm fine with any girl winning if that's what the author really wanted to do, you know. Um, and if it really is changing the ending, I'm pretty sure Miku's going to win, because I'm pretty sure she's the most popular girl. So anyways, though. With that, with that being said, I mean, as long as, as long as Nino doesn't win, I'll be happy. But with that being said, let's, let's watch this trailer then. Only 40, the video is only 48 seconds long, so the trailer's going to be really short. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I, that was short all right. Then again, it is just called a teaser. Uh, but yeah, so I guess, you know, I never got the point of these types of trailers. It just can't be just to let people know it's happening because we already knew 100% 100 definitively that it was happening. But anyways, though, still super excited for the movie. I uh, can't wait for it. Love quintessential quintuplets. Can't wait for the movie to come out uh, and to see how the story concludes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the final phase in the story as well. I'm fairly certain. Because the manga's been over for several years now. And so since they're doing a movie right now, I'm pretty sure that means that they are in the final stages of the story here and that the movie will conclude it. It'll probably be like an hour and a half because that's typically how long anime movies are, it seems like. Uh, they rarely go longer than that. Um, and from what I've seen, they rarely go shorter than that as well. They're usually pretty uniform at an hour and a half, which can bring positives or negatives, but that's neither here nor there. But anyways, though... Let me, so if you enjoyed this video, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to know whenever I upload a new video because I release new videos all the time. And uh, comment down below your thoughts on this video as well as your thoughts on the quintessential quintuplets. What it, what, do you like it or not? And are you excited for this movie or not? And reasons for both. And also share this video around if you think it deserves it to try to get it and my channel more attention. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.